Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiots in Space. Yes, it's idiots, plural, because I've got a buddy, as you can see. It's D.W. Chan Jr. Woo! Hello, everybody. I'm back. Y'all remember D.W. from back on the Community Craft days? Actually, probably not. I know a lot of people actually just started watching me because of uh, Quest for Creative and Idiot in Space. And not Don't Starve. Nobody watches Don't Starve. <laughs> um, but yes, I finally got multiplayer to actually work. Can't do a, I still can't do a, a dedicated server. Uh, keeps giving me a .NET error, which is really strange. But uh, yeah, so I can't get a cr dedicated server to run. But uh, single player, well, the client server seems to work for me. Um, all right, so in the last episode, uh, oh, yeah, right, we built the Lighthouse of Death, and I got uh, the private sail over there, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to show DW how to actually play this game, or Yay. at least attempt to, and I apologize I for any of the sounds uh, to the viewers out there. Um, or at the lack of sounds, I should say. I think my computer's a little screwy when it comes to audio syncing, the, the conversation between me and DW, the game, and the microphone. So it's a little weird. But uh, hopefully you can hear DW. Hopefully. 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 <laughs> All right, so you want to build a little ship. A little ship indeed. Yeah, because you don't want to start with the big ship. Yeah, we need to build... I need to build a... Uh... Foxtrot to Green Leader. A what now? Yes, that, that's what I'm calling my, my ship is Foxtrot. Foxtrot, okay. Uh, well, what you gotta yes. do, you gotta hit G. And in the lower right, and then... pick new small ship. Whee! And then just place your landing gear wherever you're ready to build it, wherever there's enough space. Depending on how big you plan on making this thing. <laughs> Any construction components. Oh, well, you know where those oh, are. Oh, that's right. They're still in the assembler. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they? Uh, no. Uh, you must have. Uh, no, they're in the small cargo container. Oh, that's right. They all go there. Yeah. Oh, yep, there they are. Oh, hang on. While he's off doing whatever it is he's doing, I would like to introduce you to the new member of the family that I built last night. Because I was working on the platform, as you can see, I've widened out the landing bay area. Uh, and I got sick of doing it by hand, so I made a welding ship. I call it Volt. Um, basically, it's just a welding ship with two welders on it because I couldn't connect the system properly unless I built it this way. It was kind of annoying. But yeah, And I'm back. I'm sure he'll come back. And DW's back. People be knocking at my door. And I'm going to stand back because that's bright as fuck. <laughs> Seal tubes. So DW shows up on the server for the first time. He's flying the ship for the first time. His uh, pink ship here. Okay, it's magenta. But uh, he's flying his ship here for the first time ever. He spawned 2,000 meters out and comes flying in. And I don't see him coming. Because apparently when he's in his ship, uh, I can't see his name tag. Yeah, when he's behind stuff, I don't see his name tag. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, and I, I, I put the beacon on the back here so we can find his ship if we lose it. Uh, but uh, he comes flying in and uh, just takes out the lighthouse of death. <laughs> Smacks right into it, takes it out. Oh, and then max volume, okay. Cure max volume? Yeah, I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Max space usage. Yep. All right, now what kind of ship are you building? Fighter. Fighter jet. So we're worried about heavy armor here. Yes. Yeah. Because then we can go after the... Uh, uh, the. You know what? I've noticed I haven't seen any recently. Any of the random AI ships. What do I oh, need? There we go. Oh. 
it freezes every oh, now and then. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, that works fine. You know, I'm gonna run over and shut down business shipments uh, beacon. Just because it's kind of annoying. Didn't you already shut? Did you? Didn't you already? Uh, no, off? the one that's further away, over by the other asteroid. Turn my head off. Um, no. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I threw it's somewhere around here. Oh, I, I see it. Yep. Yeah, I threw another ship back here, a bigger ship back here, in a t an attempt yeah. to draw away asteroids or comets. It didn't work. Huh. Interesting. Though it might be that this ship is significantly smaller than it used to be, since I used it for target practice after I made a green leader. Yep, <laughs> after you used it for target practice. It still flies, though. Just, yeah. All right, I'm just kind of starting it out as like a square. Usually a good kind of way to start, make a geometrically shaped, um, uh, yeah, ship. Yeah, hopefully this will work the way I'm doing it. Since I don't give a crap about Access. this ship, I'm going to be replacing it here soon. Yeah, there we go. I need to weld all this. Jesus, that is bright. I, yeah, it's ridiculously bright. It's like stupidly bright. Hey, want to come? Want to see something cool? Sure. You might miss it, though. <laughs> what? Where? Yeah, you missed it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I see a thruster floating in space. I have a feeling I, knew, I know what it was. <laughs> yeah, I told you I was going to replace it. <laughs> Figure what the hell. <laughs> we have so much crap that it's not actually... I don't like need to scavenge it for parts or anything, so... What the hell? It looks like you're on fire. Oh, I see what's going on. It's like I shouldn't be on fire. Yeah, from a distance, it looked like you were on fire when you were welding. Be kind of bad. Oh crap! I did I something was on stupid. Fire. I didn't turn on do? the green leader's beacon, and I left him by the asteroid. Wait, you... I want to go get him. Ooh. Ooh, Damn. ooh, ooh, get in little red, get in little red. We're going hunting. Okay. How are we going to, how are we going to stop this thing? Well, there are no, th uh, there's no booby traps, there's no threats. So all we have to do is just board the thing. How are we going to board it? <laughs> it seems to be going pretty decent speed. Uh, it seems to be going to a decent speed until you actually match its speed. Yeah, now I gotta turn around. <laughs> 50. Why am I slowing down? I shouldn't be slowing down. Yeah, you gotta watch with the inertial dampeners. It does take a lot of practice to actually get used to doing this. Turn off the inertial dampers. Okay, now I'm going back up. I see, I see, I see. I'm still going... I was still going the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to get used to flying. Inertial dampeners on. Let's see. Get as close of okay, speed inertial. as possible. Inertial Line dampeners so on. Right on top of this thing. Inertial dampeners off. Oh, this might actually be a problem. <laughs> How so? Uh, my landing gear is actually pretty wide out. Though I should be able to land on the uh, cargo containers. So the little red's got the two on her. Boop. Yeah, yours is all closer. Uh, how close is that? I don't want to be so touching. I gotta figure out how to match its speed. Inertial dampen is off. Reduce speed. Boop. There we go. 
I'm parked stopped. on the ship. <laughs> Indeed you are. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just trying to get into its ass. <laughs> trying. It's hard to do without inertial dampeners, but I can't have the inertial dampeners on because... Um, that just slows you down. Yeah, it would just slow me down. I'm trying to figure out how to land on this thing. I don't see a place wide enough for a little red. Except on the front, maybe. Uh, that's actually where I landed the first time I did this. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Oh, God. Oh, 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 shite. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, um, fair warning. I was turning on the inertial dampeners. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So ship's under control. Yeah, now we're stopped. Now I'm stopped. Oh, God, my inertial dampeners weren't on. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Smash up my ship. Oh, God. Park on the other side from where uh, yeah, Green Leader see, is. You should see this on my screen right now. You should see this. On, oh, Jesus. Oh, you can't. You should see this on my screen right now. You should see this on my screen right now. Um, I, I'm just spazzing around in all sorts of directions. Turn on your inertial oh, dampeners. They are on. Okay. You're stopped. My, my speed is zero. Yeah, so focus. <laughs> I'm spazzing around, though. Like, Or you're spazzing around or something. I'm not. I'm not moving. My speed is zero. Um. <laughs> you should really see this on my screen then. Um. um jump out of the cockpit um, and jump back in. See what happens. You're still spazzing around. I'm not moving, man. How about you? Tr How about you try jumping out of the cockpit instead? Boop. Well, your some of your thrusters are firing still. Yeah, it's just. That's spazzing out really bad. I can't help with the specific shipments. <laughs> well, head back to the platform. The I'll, I'll park it. Yeah, I just... Yeah, the game just kind of went nope. <laughs> game's like, nope, not dealing with it. Coming in. Indeed you are. And I almost got hit by a meteor. <laughs> Almost. That been, that Seriously, it zipped behind the solar sails. In between the yeah, camera and the solar sails. If it would have been hilarious if it would have hit you. That would have been hilarious, actually. Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? <laughs> yeah, who the hell are you? <laughs> like, I'm still mildly curious you why you're just white all of a sudden. Uh, you know. Yeah, I think it's because I logged back in. Well, so, no, yeah. it was kind of weird. You were on your original Keller as you were walking this way, and then I turned, and then I came back, and you were suddenly white. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> oh, now what the hell am I yeah, out this of? Is true. Uh, I really, really, really wish you got, like, some kind of indication of what you were doing in this freaking welder. Construction components. Again. I would point out, I had like over 900 construction components in my inventory. Hmm. Hey, what, if I have, what do I have in my inventory still? That's terminal. Back up in the You're making more steel plates. Yep. You do realize we have 5,000 of them in small cargo container 2, right? Where the hell did they go? They're, They're in right small here. cargo container 2, man. Small cargo container. Oh, I would point this out. Uh, get, into assembler. Assembler. Uh, get into the assembler. Come here, get into the assembler real oh. quick. What do we got? Alright, go into production. And you see where it says okay. production queue? You see that little repeat yes. symbol in there? <laughs> yeah, uh, watch, watch when you like click on things. Um... If you if that's active, it'll just keep going. I mean, I normally have it active, so I'm not arguing against it. I'm just saying, All right. beware. Because well, I saw I you hit the plates. you hit 100 steel different. plates and it made 250. <laughs> yeah. Because it I looped clicked around several times. I don't know. I don't know if you heard it, but I clicked several times. Well, if you hold shift and click once, it will add 100. If you hold, I believe it's control Where and click once, it'll add 10. Containers. Is that this over here? Say what? No, that's... Oh, that's Galling Turret. 
Yeah, what are you looking for? Where the hell for? are the cargo containers? Cargo containers for the steel. Dude, things. I told you, you can if you can touch anything that's attached to the conveyor system, you could just scroll through that's the inventory. Right, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, yeah th my. Uh, that's the only reason I've hidden right the cargo containers. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, my brain is fried right now. <laughs> yeah. The cargo containers are actually in this wall here. Yeah, I'm just over here look working on. I, I decided I'm gonna call this ship Voban. Low band? Voban. V A U. Um, v A U B A N. Voban. Voban. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Warframes and uh, Warframe, so I'm, I, I decided to name one after it. So, Interesting. You know. Indeed. Why can't we have one interact button? Like seriously. Yeah. Why, why is it, it that to get into the inventory, it's I, to get into the console, it's K, to get into your cockpit, it's T? Why can't it just all be, like, one button, specifically, like, R? Like, I know you can't you use you... E because that's how you rotate, but... Yeah, maybe in, like, a future update or something, they'll have that as, as an option, you know, universal button thing. Universal oh, activation. God! Did I almost take your head off? You damn near did. <laughs> I thought I was hired, Nat. Sorry. It's all good. It's like I was i was just kind of sitting there at one, one altitude level, and I was just like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, can I, does this, well, does I this saw you here? jumping. I didn't realize you were trying to fly. I don't know. Does that... <laughs> it's all good. Does that fit here? Is that all on? Yeah, that's all on. Yeah, interesting choice for design so far. Let's see how it turns out for you. Yeah, I'm going with the cockpit a little to the right. Wait, yeah, right. So Millennium Falcon it's, style. It's kind of, sort of, yeah. yeah. Is it, wait, wasn't Millennium Falcons on the left? No, it was on the right. Yeah, it was on the right. Yeah. Okay, initial setup is complete. Kind of. Oh, shit, that's heavy armor blocks. I'm using light armor for that second row. God damn it. I gotta tear that second row back up. I was like, wait, why does this have a different texture? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> For the record, it goes faster if two people are working on the same thing. Sure, true. Which we learned that early when welding. Yeah. Wait, no, I think those are. Nope, those are heavy. Those are heavy. Okay. 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 Now let's fix my ship. Well, okay. It's like, hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> well, watch your butt. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this still takes forever. Yep. You know, guys, there's no feeling of turning, like turning around and seeing <laughs> this. Oh, my Keller's Welding are wrong. Welding right. Yeah, I can fix it. It's all right. Yeah. But yeah, and seeing that thing right behind your arse. <laughs> I told you to wash your butt. <laughs> you quite literally did, yes. All right, yeah, now to fix some colors. Voila. Okay, now I need to stick a small reactor in there. Actually, I need to make space for... Well, I can figure out where my guns are going to go. Well, after, after what after might be a wise idea, since you have the room, uh, we'd have to do a little bit of planning. Sure, sure. But a large reactor would fit. 
Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking of doing. I was about to ask you if I should put a large reactor or a small reactor in there. And a large reactor, plenty of room, and they could still have room for the machine gun uh, chain mail or chain ammo. Yes. Uh, where's my large reactor at? Small, large. Here we are. Yeah, a small cargo container will work great for an attack vessel. Uh, but you do need power. I mean, I've got five small reactors in Green Leader over there. That's some serious power. Yeah, it is. Uh, you'll want to rotate this guy. Oh. Like, instead of having the, uh, en or the, the inventory access on the back, have it on the side so you can connect it to the small cargo container. So okay, you can just tell me, um, tube it. Which way is the connector at? Man. Like, it won't let me place it in the ship. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Come on, get up. On like, you can thing. see it. It's the mm. yellow square thingy. Yeah. It's like I can see it, but, like, it, wouldn't, it won't let me put it right here unless I, like, fly up. So, point uh, outwards yeah, or it's inwards little... to the ship? Point it to you. Like, towards where you okay. are right now. Yeah, it's pointing right at me now. Yeah. Yep, there you go. There we go. Oh, I see why it was one farther block out. That's why I couldn't place it. I see. Ah, yes. Kind of pain in the butt. All right. I'm going to need... I'm going to need three metal grids. Uh, 50 Lots reactor components. Lots of reactor components mm. that we don't have right now. Hang another. on. <laughs> Gotta go make those. Yeah, I'm going to need another. Yeah, I need one more motor. Uh, yeah, okay. Ow. 50 reactor components. Oh, don't walk Christ. into the thrusters. They hurt. What? 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 I'm walking into thrusters. Nothing's happening. No, no, I mean, don't. Yeah. What? I walked into I'm thrusters, compulsive. I get injured. You walk into thrusters, nothing. Oh. I mean, into the back of the thrusters, Centrally. dude. I'm in the back of the... Yeah, back of the thrusters. Hmm. I'm touching the back of the thrusters, and you're... I was like, and you're gonna get this ship and burn my face off. <laughs> It's so much easier to weld with this thing. <sighs> Though it's kind of amazing that I'm physically capable of welding something as intricate as a reactor with these giant freaking arc welders. Things that don't move. <laughs> so is this thing done? That thing's done. Why is it red? Because it needs uranium. Oh, it's already... Yeah, there's oh. no uranium in it. My jetpack was off. I fell out of the ship. How do I access a nuclear reactor? Walk up to a hit eye? K. Is that how? K. You gotta have its uh, little yellow door highlighted to do that. Oh, you gotta have the little door lighted. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting the hell out of the way when you power this thing up. Because <laughs> the thrusters turn on when you power it up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to find a place to stick my gyroscopes. Well, my, maybe you should put my thr rest of my thrusters in, actually. Well, gyroscopes are tiny, 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 so you could put one right here. Put, should I put one or two on my ship? Uh, put two on there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll just kind of rotate this one in a random direction so it's not facing the same way. Because didn't you say, like... No, put it on the other side. Put directions? it on the other side. Okay. Uh, that was a guess. I have no idea if that's confirmed or not. Uh, I get a lot of maneuverability out of Green Leader there, but somehow I doubt that the direction of the gyroscope affects anything. Really? Yeah. I'm actually get rid of this. I'd also put down put thrusters like before I start building the case. Yeah. I'm like I'm gonna put a thruster right here actually to get one of the side to sides. This is very very bright. One right. There. Indeed. Um, put another one. Let's see, how many blocks was that from the edge? It was just one in. So, we need to put another one. Right there. At one end. Mm -hmm. Uh, eight. There we go. I don't have any thrusters Probably more on me. I don't have a lot of stuff on me. <laughs> uh, I have some on me. It's like, I have pretty much nothing on me. Ah, Holy crap! Oh, it's so bright! <laughs> <laughs> Just temporarily taking oh, those it's... out. Yeah, I, I, those were temporary anyhow. Yeah, okay. Ah! 
It's like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. It's, it's like the dude. What it wants is like the bloody sun. What do these need? Uh, the motors. No, I don't have the motors. So we need two more motors and six computers. No, four com four com four motors, six computers. I'm guessing you have some in there. Of course, I keep everything in here now. <laughs> yeah. And then build like a little open way around the reactor so that way I can I wouldn't do that here. Not there. Uh, okay. This is why I suggested that you turn the reactor uh, so that you can access it through the little conveyor or the little uh, storage container. Ah, that's very true, yeah. Holy shit, I'm out of construction components. Okay, now I need to throw surprise, some downward-facing thrusters in here. So I can get my up. Okay, uh... Now to think of how I'm gonna place these frickin' downward thrusters. Damn it, now where I want to put them, actually. Okay, I think I want... I'd just do this with Volt here, but I can't. Yeah. Too small. I'm gonna take two from there. One. You, I can pick up the ship, you know. Oh, well, I mean, I just thought I'd do this that way. I can get it off the ground, and I can do the next two. Well, watch, watch, watch. Get in the get in the cockpit, real quick. Hang on, I gotta get up and over. Right. Okay. Disconnect your parking brake. Parking brake disconnected. Fuel time, 299 days. Oh, God, yeah. Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, my the God, hell what the happened? hell just happened? Uh, it seems my reactor blew up. Holy shit! Um... Houston, we have a problem. Apparently, holy crap. Um, okay, this is a huge issue. I'll try to stop it with my face. Yeah. Got it. Uh, well, I'm trying to get uh, it. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It's parked. Volban. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you just hold Volt there. Uh, we're going to do some repping. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll leave Volt there. Uh, apparently that idea that I had was a bad idea, and apparently your idea was a better idea. <laughs> Doing it manually. Just picking it up by itself. Yeah. Apparently that was a better idea. Yeah, because something hit something in my reactor and went kablooey. Well, I think what might be a distinct a possibility okay. is that uh, the thrust... I didn't realize that the thrusters would have hit oh! your reactor. I bet you that's what happened. <laughs> that probably is what happened. This is a hell of a dent right here. Check it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, what are you going to get? I'm surprised you reacted to blow my freaking ship apart. I mean, I know it's heavy armor, but Jesus. And none of the thrusters are damaged. Well, that one in the end is, but other than that, none of the thrusters were damaged. Okay, so note to self, the don't pick things up with uh, Volt here. Do you see why we call this idiot in idiots in space, guys? Hey, there's a, there's a reason I named this episode what it was.